and I'm back today with another video. If you've never been here before, I feature cruelty-free makeup, and today we are going to be recreating Jessica Hayes' bruised eye look, but an affordable version. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any future videos, and if you guys want to see how I created this gorgeous bruised eye look using a very affordable method and keep watching getting started today with this bruised look i want to first just start out by saying this is not an original look that i'm coming up with i got my inspiration from jessica hayes who did this same bruised eye look maybe a year ago i will link her channel down below and you guys can check out that original look please go watch the original video because she's amazing she's my favorite youtuber and beauty guru on instagram so definitely go check her out in her video she featured this viseart dark mattes palette now this palette is 75 dollars what okay yes $75. So I was, even though I have this palette, I was thinking it might be fun just to recreate this look using super affordable products. It makes it just a little bit more accessible for everyone to be able to do this look. Today I am going to be using Morphe's, look at the size of this thing, oh my god, Morphe's 39A palette. This palette is $35, so $75, $35, you choose. All right, I think that most of the colors that we're going to need to do this are in this palette. She does use a mustard colored eyeshadow quite a bit, which I do not have, so I am going to keep it affordable and use from ColourPop's Good Sport palette this mustard color right here called Trooper. And we're gonna save you guys a little bit of money on this look. All right, so getting started, she went down with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in the color Caffeine, which I do not have. So I'm gonna try to recreate that color using Urban Decay's Primer Potion and mixing in just a little bit of Danessa Myrick's um, I think this is oh primary yellow it's a nice mustardy color and that caffeine color is a nice like mustardy color also so I'm just going to take a little bit of this on the back of my hand and a tiny bit of this mustardy pigment color just like that and a fluffy brush I'm going to mix these together and we are left with kind of a yellowy primer to get started with this eye look. So I'm just going to pat this down on my lids and then with a fluffy brush with nothing on it I'm just gonna blend this out. So next step is going in with a navy blue on the in the upper outer corner and along the lower lash line. For that I am going to be using this dark blue color here in the palette and this little dome brush and I'm just going to be stamping this color on my eye. Next I'll be using this olive green color right here just to blend out that blue. I'm just going to be going over the edges and then sweeping it through the rest of my crease. Okay, we got that green color blended throughout the look. Now I'm gonna go in with this mustard color out of the Good Sport palette. This one's called Trooper. And I am just going to blend this all around the edges of all of the colors. And 
Next up is eyeliner. Just went in with Kat Von D's Everlasting Lip Liner in the color Blood Milk. I am going to be using Makeup Geek's eyeliner in the color Plumeria. Makeup Geek is also a super affordable brand. And she just runs this along her waterline and smudges it into her lashes and then also just draws some in her inner corner and blends it out. So that's what we're gonna do. Now that I have that laid down, I am going to be going in with these two colors right here and just laying that down over the top of that liner we just put down. So I've laid down those maroon shades in there. Next up, we're gonna be going back in with this dark blue color and just freshening up the blue that has now been blended all out. The next step that she does is she uses the OCC pigment in the color Slag to lay down on the center of the eyelids. Today I'm going to be using another Makeup Geek product. This is a very similar color. This is the duochrome shadow in the color Karma. And I'm just going to be taking my flat brush and just patting that down on my lids. After everything, she goes back in with a fluffy brush with nothing on it, just a clean one, just to blend everything together one last time. Everything is blended out. Next up is eyeliner. Just used this Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color Exorcism for eyeliner. I am going to use this Milani liquid lipstick. I feel like these are similar enough colors and I'm just gonna cross my fingers that Milani's formula makes a good eyeliner. Because I've done that a lot with these, but I've never tried these. So that liner is on. For mascara, just used Marc Jacobs mascara in this maroon color, which is absolutely gorgeous, and I made a mental note upon re-watching the video to go and pick that up pronto. Hopefully he still makes it. Today I'm gonna be using ColourPop's mascara in the color Left on Red. This is a bit more red than the color that she used, so hopefully this will still turn out all right, but we're gonna find out. Liner is complete. I went ahead and popped on some lashes. Um, now just had some lashes that were already maroon, which I do not have, but I really need. So I went ahead and just popped on a pair of Ardell Wispies in number 122 and just used that red ColourPop mascara just to coat the false lashes, which worked all right, I think. So everything is that nice maroon color. Now for lips, she used OCC Sebastian liner with a nice like taupey gray colored lipstick over the top. I will show you guys what I'm going to use and show you the comparison. I'm going to be using NYX suede lip liners in the color Brooklyn Thorn and that's going to be the color difference right there. So the one on this side is OCC and the one on that side is going to be the NYX. It's pretty dang close. And then I have uh, Brooklyn Thorn liquid lipstick as well, so um, we're just gonna be using these today. Again, both very affordable products. I almost forgot highlighter. So pause on the lips for a second. I am going to be using ColourPop's Flexitarian 
This is just a very natural highlight color. And we'll just pop a little bit of that on. All right, now that that's on, back to the lips. guys so this is the final look I will go ahead and insert a photo of Jessica Hayes's final look right now and then you guys can decide if you think that I did an alright job with following this tutorial. I really hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you also try out this look. If you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And don't forget, you can also follow me over on Instagram at Sarah Sergeant Pepper. And I think that that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I hope that you guys have a really great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.